YouTube, what is going on? It is that NBA guy, Josh. It is April 26, 2015. The topic of this video today, LaMarcus Aldridge. Has he played his last game as a Portland Trailblazer? Um, at the moment I'm making this video, the uh, Trailblazers are down three games to none. Um, you know, he still has one more game to go. The way that it looked the last game and the way that it looked in, in the, the past couple of games, it really doesn't look like they're going to even have a shot at coming back. I mean, coming down from a 3 no, uh, coming back from a 3 0 deficit, you know, it's, uh, it's difficult. And this team is definitely not going to do it. Not against a Memphis team that's stacked in the middle with Gasol and um, Zach Randolph, and, and they just are just killing it, right? I mean, even Vince Carter is, is shooting well and penetrating the lane, and no, there's no way Portland's coming back. So, Basically, LaMarcus Aldridge, I think they're going to close it out in the next game. I think LaMarcus Aldridge has one more game left as a Portland Trailblazer. <clears throat> he denied um, you know, wanting to leave Portland last offseason. He said he signed, or he didn't sign the contract, a contract extension, because he wanted to wait until the new uh, collective bargaining agreement comes and everything like that. He's 29 years old. I actually... Uh, was just looking over that information, and I couldn't believe it was that old. I thought he was 27 at most, but <clears throat> time flies. It seems like he just came into the league. Now, let's talk about some possible destinations on where LaMarcus Aldridge could land. My pick on where he goes, well, I'll give you three. I think there's a chance he goes to the Lakers. I don't think there's a 50-50 chance he goes to the Lakers, like Lakers fans will tell you. But then again, you know they think uh, Kareem is and is coming back, and Kobe's uh, leg is going to heal, and this and that. So you know, I'll give him mm, 10 to 20 percent chance he goes to the Lakers. The real uh, people, uh, real team that I think he's going to go to is the San Antonio Spurs. They're going to lock up Kawhi Leonard after the season. It's already been said that contract's basically already signed, sealed, and delivered. They're going to lock up Kawhi Leonard. They got Greg Popovich as their coach. LaMarcus Aldridge has publicly stated he has a lot of respect for Greg Popovich, as I'm sure most NBA players do. So you got Kawhi Leonard coming back. Lock him up. He's young. You're going to have a nucleus with him. And, um, you know, they still got all the veterans. They got Ginobili. They got Parker. They got Duncan. They got Patty Mills. They got Diaw. They got... Matt Bonner, Matt Bonner, of course, can't forget about him. And, um, you know, they just got so many players there that, uh, you know, LaMarcus Aldridge would just fit right in. It's basically going to be just like uh, Tim Duncan and David Robinson Part 2, where now Tim Duncan's the older guy, and the younger guy coming in is uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. Not as young as Robinson and Duncan when he was a rookie, but... Still, you got you know uh, a replacement. You want to make sure that it's a smooth transition. As Duncan, you know, leaves the team, you want Aldridge to take over. Now, I'm not saying Duncan's going to leave anytime soon, but let's be real here. Tim Duncan was a rookie in 1997. All right, so he's going on uh, some serious mileage there. So you, he's definitely going to probably be gone in the next, uh, I'd say, two to three years. I don't see him playing more than that. Um, of course, every single year is. Tim Duncan's last year and blah, blah, blah. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I think there's also a small possibility he goes to the Knicks. And, of course, I'm not saying this as a Knicks fan. I'm saying this because it's realistic. He's publicly said that he would entertain playing for the Knicks. Um, matching him up with Carmelo Anthony would be in a, a pretty nice one-two punch. Of course, if the Knicks don't get some good, uh, you know, uh, players in at the point guard and uh, shooting guard position... It's irrelevant, you know, Michael Jordan didn't get done by himself, LeBron didn't get done by himself, um, you know, you're going to need help in New York. But I think if uh, if Melo comes back healthy, which he will, and LaMarcus Aldridge comes in, I think that they're going to have a, a very decent one-two punch, and that's how you attract other players. You know, LeBron came to Cleveland, he attracted other players, uh, even though Sean Marion, Mike Miller, James Jones, even though these guys don't really play much, they will be there during the NBA Finals, and I guarantee you Mike Miller will have at least one meaningful game, excuse me, at least one meaningful game in this NBA playoffs, and, uh, you know, other guys, Timothy Mozgov, uh, J.R. Smith, I'm a chumper, you know, LeBron brought all these guys. If the Knicks can get, uh, you know, uh, Melo and LaMarcus Aldridge on the same team, they're going to attract some players, so, 
You know, also, uh, you know, on the Lakers standpoint, you know, they got a couple other uh, guys that are up and coming. You know, they got uh, Julius Randle, barely played this season. I think he broke his leg the first or second game of the year. Jordan Clarkson's uh, up and coming player. Of course, you have the one and only Kobe Bryant, uh, who's not going to be there for much longer. But still, you know, you know, he's he's a decent leader, Um, you know. I think LaMarcus Aldridge would step into that situation great. What do you guys think? Is LaMarcus Aldridge going to leave Portland? My money's on yes. The only question is, is he going to go to team A, B, or C? Lakers, Knicks, Spurs. What do you guys think? Uh, Let me know. Drop it in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Certainly don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.